I'm going to call a meeting to order at 4 o'clock. Oh. Thank you all for coming. Back to the camera. That's okay. Um, yeah. And we have to look at the piece of testimony we got that's going to be presented to the State Board on August 15th and approve it. And we also have to approve, I thought I printed a new agenda, but we have to approve the um, Matt and Scott and Floor going to the um, State Board. On behalf of was, the whole Right. And I sort of, the last time we met, I thought we didn't really need to approve that, but I guess we do. So, yep. So we will. Um, so I assume everybody's read this, looked at it. Yes. Does anybody have any comments, concerns, things they want to change, things they'd like to Is add? Is that an option even? I yeah, don't that's because I don't technically know. it is. Yeah, te <laughs> it technically clumsy. it is, but I, of yeah. course, I don't like or, or agree with it all. Um, so the one thing I wanted to talk about was they make a strong case about wealthier towns and poorer towns, and I just want, is that is that accurate? Is, is East Montpelier more affluent than yeah. Callis? Yeah. Do we know that? I, I'm not sure about Callis, but, but but Worcester, yeah. So if you looked at the average you income, the, average the median income, income, income is that what East you Montpelier? Start, I think so. Or yeah. Grand list or? Well, then I would so appreciate saying that. towns with a higher average median income than wealthier. <laughs> wealthier I is agree. a loaded I agree. Uh, adverb, and it implies, you know, Daddy Warbucks type things, not well, which, higher median income it, it comes up like three in three different sentences they may really emphasize this despair I, I, I totally hear what you're saying and if we were just having a conversation between our towns about something I would I'd be like yeah let's not use the loaded language but it's supposed to be persuasive for the secretary and I think that their choice of language was probably intended to I embarrass right. the secretary for poor choices. You know, I think it's I think it's meant to be highly Probably. persuasive and, and dramatic, as opposed to as right. opposed to gentle and. Which was yes. the second thing, I wanted, <laughs> second thing I wanted to say was because I got, got to thinking about why are they making such a big deal of this, and it I think it's because they talked it they talked they or I think the strongest part is near the end and the second to last paragraph when they're talking about it's just not practical to do this because we're divided as a community. It's the sort of thing that I, I thought Adrian and I were trying to buy for, like give us time to implement this because right now is not the right time for the community. Mm -hmm. It's too divided and it's gonna be it's gonna be really difficult. So I, I agree with them that it's, it, it seems somewhat impractical. I think you can make that argument with a straight face. Is it impossible? I don't think they make that case at all. And what they're trying to say is that it's morally impossible because we've got these wealthy towns who have, have taken on debt. And you know, from a, from a moral point of view, it's not really possible to do this, which I think is a pretty weak argument. But I, I, I suspect that's why they're emphasizing the wealth disparity. And I think that really is the only thing they can hang their hat on about impossible. about impossible because the rest of this is preference. It's, right. it's all been done. Yeah, other, right. Other but issues. you know, the fact that the debt is so different is a reality that a lot of other districts I don't think had. Yeah, it may not be oh. fair, mm -hmm. but it's still possible. Right. But to me, the underlying message is you figure it out and we'll figure it out putting the onus on the state to figure out how are we going to sort out the differences yeah. in debt. Give us an mode. equitable way to handle the debt. And yeah. then you know, be, why is it all of a sudden? Then we, then we lose our reason to be stubborn about this. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Why right. is it the school board's, you know, problem to figure out how this financially is going gonna, is gonna right. to work? Yeah, but what's the audience? The audience is the Board of Education. That's They're not going to figure out the debt. That'd be up to the legislature. It would be, I would think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Well, and or the, the agency, or the agency could, put, could, could the agency come up with a plan for how to have the towns keep Maybe. the debt. Yeah, just I like know, the or... joint committee was con getting to. The, I, the agency couldn't tax; it would probably have to go to the legislature. Yeah, now. nobody could Eventually. think of a proposal yeah. for a way to deal with it. I mean, it, we know why, but you know, I also don't support 
in the end, the one thing that all our boards agreed on, universally and unanimously, that, that is not an accurate statement. Our boards agreed for the sake of peace, um, honestly, for peace and going forward. I do not feel that we unanimously agreed there was no way to consolidate. We agreed to the report that we submitted because it was a way to go forward and then turn it over to see what the Department or Agency of Education would say. It was a compromise. So I do not agree with that statement at all. So, I, yeah, so what are our options? There are things that we would... I don't know, because on. if each board adopts this... I, I don't think they're asking for feedback so they can do another draft. Yeah. Okay. I don't think no. they yeah. it's up or down. Can I take one step back? Absolutely. So um, my initial understanding was that the elementary boards were the ones that were voting on this. Mm -hmm. So are we just still developing our opinion? That, of that shifted, though, when we yeah. didn't come, we didn't arrive at the preferred model then it became our responsibility as well. Okay. And there was a misunderstanding that the U32 board was not yeah, allowed to... Yeah. to so when to, they constituted the original um, study committee to do all of that, the, the understanding at that time was that U32 was not a party to that. It was just the town. Right. And we were advised right towards the end that we should have been represented the same as any elementary yeah. school. And it was right at the end that we found that out. Yeah. So. And I don't know whether you remember that meet. You know, we had like one meeting yeah. or two meetings to say, "Here's the proposal. What do we think?" Because right. we yeah. get yeah, to no, weigh no, I, in. Yeah. No, we, I was yeah. part of the weigh in, but I, I was still under the impression that it was. Okay. No. So we have. So we. Oh. When I read what we have been asked to do is number one to appoint Scott Floor and Matthew to represent at the August 15th meeting. Second is to approve this written document as our collector response to the questions. So I believe we do have the opportunity to say the U32 board supports the majority of it and but proposes revisions of and we could itemize these couple things and they can present whatever they want. Yeah. They can if, if everyone else agrees they can say this and they can include ours and it's just I um so, so they would be presenting, theoretically, they could present one version that comes from the other five. If they all boards. agree. And here's, yep. here's U32's here's here's modified version. Yeah. We, we certainly could do that. Um, I think I'm back to where I was last, when was that? May Spring? or something, yeah. 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 Which is, it's, we see how this is going. And it's probably better to go in, into All a together. unified yeah. Yeah. and not yeah. not have people blame U32 yeah. Yeah. because of a decision that the agency is going to make. Right. Over a few words. I, I, I agree, <laughs> but I'm starting to feel, I don't want to use the term bullied because that's a loaded term. I am starting to feel a lot of negative energy on the full board that is very, okay, no. The letter we were provided that the Callis board is submitting on its own. Select board. Select board, board yeah. is submitting on its own to me goes completely against what we are talking about doing being unified. Okay. And being presented with that, I was, I was thrilled that that was provided, but I felt like that goes, com that com basically threw down the gauntlet to we, don't, we can all have our own opinions, and we can all say what we want to at this point, because otherwise, I, I, I've, I, I was just the Callis it. Select Board. It came in an email, and it we was got pretty an email, strongly and it worded. It was very strongly yeah, saying the Callis uh, Select Board believes that our small school is perfect. We are doing everything. I'm being exaggerating. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we are doing everything right. There is no reason to consolidate, and it, it almost said over our dead bodies, yeah. would we ever you know, close our school and consolidate with these other schools. It was very, very strong, and it came to us as an email just saying, here, you, this is, we're submitting this on behalf of ourselves. And so I, I 
What's her name? And it was submitted to was it it was submitted to us at no, the supervisory. No, it was the um, select board. Uh, it was just Denise. Sort of sent Denise FYI and email. Just, yeah, here I'll get it. I'll see we, if I can we find it for being you. Being asked to do anything with it. Yeah. No, no it's, and it's, I think I hear the full board. Sort of there it is. Public. I hear your feeling about the full board, but I think if you drill down. It's only the callous people that are speaking so loudly. That's if you true. really look around, right. the yeah. rest of us are just. Even in the meeting that night, you know. Yeah. Right. But there, no one said, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 90% yeah. of. Oh, everyone agreed with up. us. We were right. And yeah. that's that's not true, yeah. as I said then. <laughs> I know. I can. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. You know, it doesn't have to be a unanimous vote from this board. Right. Yeah. Have that option. I mean, and that is, a, yeah. we could make our correction a fact. <laughs> you might have to look at the model later. Yeah, they, um, they wrote a resolution. In the end, the one thing so that all the boards agreed on uni university unanimously is that our districts are not ready to defer consolidation. So, did we uh, vote unanimously to support the proposal? I think we did, we Karen. Did. Did we? I think we so. Did. Yeah. To, and what was that question? To, the, to what you just read there. No, we were to, to, to voted to, unanimously yes, to support the proposal. The, pro the is that our the, districts are the, not ready for consolidation at this time. Not ready for consolidation. That's at not this time. Yeah. At right. This that time. is not our no. Our report was the report and the proposal was to an alternative model of staying the same. It was not that we did not vote unanimously that we could not consolidate at all. The report actually says that down the road we could potentially entertain it as well, right? So how could we, is that our districts support an alternative model at this time as opposed to not supporting consolidation? Yes, that would be, uh, I think, more accurate. Support and model of governance. It's pretty strong and long at this time. So, so uh, a little more accurate, but if we yeah, submit right. something that's even slightly different, are we, you know, is, it, is the uh, benefit of that or yeah. worth it? You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. There are other loaded words. Um, if we want to, right? If we're going to make one change, we might. I want know. To I mean, there are loaded words. The, it, it says that the the secretary, um, to, uh, Time to with arguments that even cursory examination just demonstrates are flimsy. It's a little bit of a loaded. Tempted. There's a lot more. I, I mean, I can write a diplomatic, lawyerly like document that does not use words like these are flimsy. We're so I agree that these guys are trying to be persuasive here. Mm -hmm. That you know they're not they're not trying to be diplomatic. They're trying. Right. The the state has already said you can't. We're not going to let you do this. And now they're trying to persuade this board that actually we should be able to do this. Right. And you know personally, I don't find this. Any more persuasive than the <laughs> sixty-page report, which yeah. has data in it. Right. Yep. And I don't. No. If I had to bet, I don't think that the agency will either. It all comes down to the fact that this it, we have a whole bunch of unions that have have consolidated, and if they made an exception for us at this stage, it would be a political nightmare. And the unions are just like ours, or more complex. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, ours is the most simple. Right. It can't get any easier. You think so? What? Even in regards to the whole debt load thing? That's really the only barrier. That's yeah. the we're only barrier. In my mind, that's the, the only we're barrier. Already, we're already the union school. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, but that's the we're barrier that keeps coming step. up, you know? Mm -hmm. it is, yeah. But I think the state's argument around that is that at some point, in the long run, it'll pay are, off. Yeah. You know, the schools, well, that, the towns that do not currently have bonds right. to repair their schools will still need to have a money bond. to repair their schools. They will. And that's yes. the argument that the state will make. The legislature right. took the long view on this. In Whether 20, it's 10 years, years or, or 20 years, yeah. right. it doesn't matter. Plus, and, and the way, well, right. when you talk about five towns, 
to having debt. I'm not sure I agree with the math they propose here because if you take the two towns, three 18 and 14, or three, three. and you divide three. it over five, Four. that is diluting it. Right, they all have That's U32 true. debt. So just <laughs> speaking to the examples they gave them, they gave two. Those two divided by five is a lot more diluted, than I think, than what they talk about here, actually hitting each individual taxpayer. So I would make a motion that the U32 reflect uh, respectfully decline endorsing this document. Abstains. Yes, abstain. That would I, I would make a friendly amendment. Would, would like to abstain from endorsing this document. Does Is it, there a second? Are you taking notes here? <laughs> Not at that level. No, I said we discussed the proposed. You have to write the motion. You have to write it. Here we go. I got blue pen here. If it's not seconded, then we just keep going. To abstain. Could you speak more to that? Can you just to abstain from commenting on this document? Yes. Is that which? Is that document? I mean, from adop or adopting. I mean, from Which do you want to say? To abstain? Yeah, that was a nicer word. To abstain from approval. approving this document as of this date. I guess an alternative would be to, actually, a better proposal would probably be that I make a motion to um, table indefinitely. Because then, by Robert's rules of orders, we don't ever have to take this document up again, right? I don't know. So, by Robert's rules of orders, you can withdraw your first, yes, and then you can submit um, a second. And as by Robert's rules expert, if we table indefinitely, we don't ever have to discuss have, it again. There's no obligation for you, you to, ever, to, to ever take it. Say, you don't even say have to say. You just say table. 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 We table something that goes there, and you can come back when you want, but you don't have to go back. Right. Right. So that would be okay. So are you withdrawing the first would that one? Be more diplomatic. So so what you would essentially be doing is you would with, you could withdraw your first right. motion. You could then say the the I think I, I'm sorry I don't have the agenda in front of me, but whatever the agenda item actually is. It says approve Washington Central testimony you can, for state you board of Move to table that piece. piece. Yeah. Same the thing. Action. It would have to be seconded and it would have okay. to be approved by the. Well, my first one was not very popular. I withdraw my first motion, okay. please. No, KB, we can't do KB since yeah. there are two KBs. Withdraws. And then oh, I know. Oh, we got like yeah. a whole thing. Action okay. agenda item three point one. I I move that we table. Moves to table approval. Uh, Washington Central Supervisory Union testimony. Is there a second to that? I'm curious to what end we would. What are what message are we trying to convey, and to whom? By choosing to <coughs> table. I think the message we're conveying abstain. is that we don't support a propaganda-like, loaded, persuasional document like this representing the collective WCSU. If it's going to represent opinions that agree and disagree with consolidation, there should not be persuasive language like this. It should be a more diplomatic document. That is our message. So would you like to see a change in the document? Language. I, I, I just I don't I don't want to break from the unified the group. I don't, I don't want to be the dissenter. That, that's kind of where I balk too. I feel like we as a larger body asked these people to get together and draft this on our behalf. And they did. And it meets the goal that the group had. I mean, 
I, Let me I, I agree that. with you, it is colorful and persuasive. <laughs> and were we having this dialogue within our own community, we wouldn't use that kind of language. But I think for the purpose of going back to the state who has already denied our request for how to move forward, um, you know, given that this is an appeal and that it is intended to be persuasive and sway them the other direction, I guess I feel a little jerky at the last minute turning to our representatives and saying, hey, we don't like the way you did this, start over. We well, don't have we don't have a second yet. No. So can I get a second? If not the motion. Yeah. We could we could make edits in about five minutes that we could propose as our version. So just on Robert's rules of order, you've asked for a second, you've heard none. I was just making sure. Right. So, <laughs> so this motion, yeah. so no does. second. I, I even think it's too late to, to suggest that. It's two boards have already adopted it. And it's true. When it, when it's coming up in what, week after next? Week. 15. Week. Mm -hmm. yeah. Two weeks. Almost. When, is this, when does the document need to be submitted? The 15th. Earlier. Yeah. Okay. So is there another motion? <laughs> I think the problem is is the process for creating this document. There was no opportunity to provide to feedback. Right. So, and that's you know as much our fault as anybody else's. So, even though these words don't represent the, the way I would put it, yeah. I'm I'm comfortable enough. I swallowed hard last time. Yeah. It's not it's even true. as hard to swallow this time. Yeah. Um, I think the greater good here is that we remain unified, so that you know, in my opinion, the agency is going to decide the way they're going to decide. And I don't want you through to be anyway. <laughs> And then if they decide we have to go through with this, we sort of got what we wanted, and then oh, we move forward, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that a motion? So is there a motion to approve this document? I'll, I'll make that motion. So KB, oh, wait a minute. I will. I, will <laughs> I got to get them all mixed up. <laughs> K Bradley. I know. <laughs> we just You're do. K.A. Bradley. <laughs> you are too, K.A. Bradley. <laughs> Move to approve Washington Central. I just wrote this. The testimony. Ed and, Car and Carl, you seconded that, right? Yeah. More discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? No. Aye. One, two, three. One, two, Aye. three, four to one. Four to one. And that's Karen Bradley. Okay. Sorry. And is there. <laughs> never have contested. That's like the second contesting vote in my entire time at <laughs> school. <laughs> the other one. Did you do one once? Yeah, not until recently. Actually, Jonathan did one once, on too. We've had like three on this board. Oh, it only so happened funny. once at Doty. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody mm -hmm. So Child now here. we need a motion to accept Floor and Scott and Matthew to um, represent the Washington Central Boards at the State Board of Ed. Moved. Second. Discussion about that? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. Move to accept. Let's get this math here. I am curious, is this going to be submitted in a written form, or are they going to actually read no. this? Both, I think. As like testimony oh, oh. style. I, I think both. They, they only get, what, 20 minutes? Mm -hmm. 20 minutes or half an hour? It's one or the other. Oh, yeah. I think it's 20. It's not long. Since Scott is a member of our board um, and is not here, I just want to let you guys, I feel that the uh, most diplomatic thing I should do is I would like, I will make my edits. I will send that to Scott Floor and Matthew and just explain our, what our discussion was. Um, and the nice. points I made so that they can, that we did vote in favor. But just as a learning thing, we were not happy with these languages, but we didn't take it further this stage. That's great. Okay. That would, that would I will solve that. all the problems. Anything else? We are adjourned. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming.